this year off. So we'll say I'm talking about Paul. How did you die? To train a topic with the back. It feels an offense of death. And I, the master of our job, he could control for all harm. But never told to break my part. Or call the glory of our arm. Good day, God! And meet me in the morning. Never he shall come to know his destiny. He shall spawn the fate of his god of death and bear. He hopes by the wisdom, grace, fear. Ha! Ah, I am caught! My little spirit see sits in a foggy cloud and stays for me! So I'm playing the second murderer, which is part of killing Banquo. And I meet, and I'm meant to chase after Banquo's son and kill him, but I fail. The last two nights they've gone well. There are things to improve on, but it's been improving every night. I think everyone's learnt and expanded their ability as an actor. So yeah, I think the play has gone really well. And I think How credit should go to Mr. Mr. Miller, Mr. Stevenson, and Kieran, because they've put a countless amount of hours into making this play. And all the shouting, all that, <laughs> it's all come, it's all, it's all made this play perfect. He needs not our mistrust, since he delivers our offices and what we have to do to the direction just. Stand with us. Hold. What's the light there? Oh! It's me. There it is. It's what? What? Stand to it. It's what we bring to point. Let it come down! down. <gasps> oh, treachery! Fly, 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 fly! Don't make direct on the my role is the porter. My character is this guy. He's he's often called to like the the gatekeeper to Macbeth's castle, but he also parallels. There's also come some parallels to the gatekeeper of hell. And he sort of shows this very soliloquy about how he talks in supernatural, but overall he's drunk at the time and eventually goes on to talk about some rather rude things. He plays the English doctor and, and I play the doctor of physic. Physic. Yeah. But they're both very complex. Roles, in, in a way, yeah. I think the play as a whole is going very well, though. There's been uh, some some good directors. I'd say Kieran Roy's been a standout director. He's really helped to develop all the main roles, like Macbeth. I'd say. Mm. I think the banquet scene's gone really well. Uh, that's when Banco, the ghost of Banco, comes in with blood in his mouth and it drips out, and it creates really good like ambience to the audience because of the music that I was playing before while they were setting it up, with everyone walking in and look Beth turning mad, which is pretty good.
Oppressions. Which so basically we and tell what Beth is in the future me. and what he has to come against yeah. and his <coughs> threats of We're tortured in each other, so we like that. Mr. Sharp came in in a couple of lunch times and taught us how to march properly and stand at the correct gun. Yeah, yeah, how to stand at the correct positions, which actually really helps because in some parts when we're just standing still, instead of just standing normally, it uh, helps us stand at, while looking uh, like part the part in a way. He also taught us how to make us feel because in real life guns are actually heavy. They're not light like plastic. So uh, he taught us how to like make it seem like the guns are heavy to make the audience feel like they're watching real. How now, you secret black and midnight hags? I conjure you by that which you profess. However you come to know it, answer me. Though you want to tie the winds and let them fight against the churches, answer me to what I ask you. Speak the man. Well answer. Say if thou from here from our man or from our man. Call them. Let me see them. Pour in thou's blood. That's a beating. A dying pharaoh. Grease and sweat. From the murder of his throat. Into the flame. And I play a Satan spell, not like the devil, S E Y T O N. Yeah, Satan. Different, different sides of the army. Lots of rivalry between us. I think we've definitely had to overcome lack of teamwork. To start off with, we were terrible with getting stuff on, getting stuff off, but now we've improved quite a bit. 100% getting better. Yeah, it's still not perfect, but it's definitely got better. Yeah, it was on what came first and what wasn't the issue was the acting and learning lines. That was very, very rarely an issue in comparison to organisation of what props are on at what point, what the set is and set design and all of that kind of stuff, and making that work and sort of people working together to make that work. That was the main issue that this place faced. Well, towards the beginning of the play, Duncan is the good old righteous king, but uh, I soon, my ambition takes over me and I kill him for the crown. But towards the end of the play, evil is defeated by good and Malcolm becomes king. I really enjoy the uh, scene with the murderer, because, uh, Especially first murderer because it, we've got quite a lot of synergy, I think, because it, it makes use of lots of like different volume levels throughout the film. Uh, my favourite moment in the play is um, Act One, Scene Four, where I completely and utterly blank Malcolm to focus on Macbeth, and I think that's quite funny. So then um, I tell I tell my son that he's dead because I think that's better. 
but uh, I'm a smart cookie, so yeah. I see through. Even the though lies. he's three years old, he sees six. through the lies. Six. Right, even though he's six years old, he sees through the lies. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, some murderers come in asking for the yeah. husband. And so. then, yeah, he dies. I'm Duff in the play. Um, I'm the guy that kills Macbeth, basically, because I am loyal to Scotland and I'm loyal to Duncan and Malcolm, so I kill Macbeth. Probably the first time we got to use the real set, because before we were just here in the drama studio, we were just imagining a lot, but when we got to use the actual stage and set and all the lighting, it kind of all came together. I thought that was, that was really good, so credit to the crew for that, because they've done very well on this. Hail King, for so thou art. Behold where stands the usurper's casting. The time is free. I see thee compass with thy kingdom's jewels, that speak my salutations in their minds. Those voices I desire aloud with mine. Hail, King of Scotland! Hail, King of Scotland! such an honour named.